In the Top 10's video today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 countries where ladies should go husband hunting. And in at number 10, it's France. France is inextricably linked with romance, and its population was ranked the ninth most attractive in the world in a poll performed by Telegraph magazine. It tied with Great Britain for number five in rate of domestic abuse among members of the European Union. However, it isn't that wealthy as far as developed countries go. The GDP per capita is $42,500, which by the standards of developed nations is actually fairly low. Its domestic abuse rate is a rather high 44%. Its divorce rate is ninth highest in the world at 53%. All in all, France's population does well enough by all of the criteria of this list to place on it, but not super well at anything in particular. Number 9. Canada Canadian men aren't the kind that top any lists of most attractive males in the world. Indeed, at least one ranking put them at least attractive. But in deeper, more meaningful ways, it's still a promising country for finding husband material. It's also one of the least sexist countries in the world, with nearly 40% of its upper houses of government being female. It also has a relatively low divorce rate that has become even lower in recent years. At approximately 25%, Canada's reported domestic abuse rate is one of the lowest in the world. This all might make Canada sound like the nice guy country of the world, but don't hold that against it. Number 8. Great Britain A poll of Thai women revealed that they found the idea of marrying an Englishman specifically the most appealing of all nationalities. Also, British accents have been found by polls to be the sexiest accents, even more than a French accent, as British magazines like The Telegraph report with glee. Unfortunately, British society isn't feminist enough to even place in the top 23 least sexist nations, according to the World Economics Forum. Its domestic abuse situation is bad enough that 44% of the population has experienced it. The nation also has a pretty high divorce rate, 48% by the time the children are 16. Additionally, their average GDP is only about $42,000, so really, is all that sexiness worth it? Number 7. Sweden Sweden is a very wealthy country, with a GDP of approximately $58,000 per capita. Also, men from Stockholm have been voted the most handsome in the world by polls like the one conducted by Travel Digest. But there's a very unfortunate reason that it's been dropped down to number 7, even though it would otherwise be in the running for the top 3. Sweden has a very large domestic abuse and sexual violence problem, coming in at number 3 in relation to the rest of the European Union. Despite years of effort, the rate hasn't dropped in recent years. Evidently, it remains a potentially hazardous population to find a husband in, even with all the material wealth and hotness. Not to mention that divorce rate is the second highest in Europe. Number 6. Ireland Ireland does not have a record of being a very progressive country. Indeed, it didn't even legally permit divorce until 1997, well after most of the rest of the developed world. Still, economically, its GDP per capita is roughly $50,000, which is quite robust, and in recent years, it's been rated as the fifth least sexiest country in the world. Its domestic abuse rate within marriage is about 20%, which is relatively low. Though it has been climbing rapidly in the last decade, its divorce rate is the second lowest in the European Union. Not only that, but it has provided a surprising boon to the women of the world. Ireland has a very successful mail-order husband business. Apparently, that means they're in demand for women of the world who want to be able to have more claim than usual to the pants in the family. What a good sign for progress. Number 5. Australia Australia also seems like it would be a slam dunk to be in the top three or so. Its male population has been shown by surveys to be unusually attractive, and it also delivers on the wealth fronts with an average income of roughly $67,000, which is close to 14000 more than the average citizen of the United States of America. It even looks like it is significantly better off than Sweden on a social level, because a study claimed that it had the lowest domestic abuse rate in the world. The country's divorce rate is barely above average among UN countries. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, closer analysis shows that Australia still has significant problems with how it handles domestic abuse. Its own parliament has criticized how its law enforcement officers treat domestic violence, and the rate of violence has been called not much lower than that of developing countries. Number 4. Norway who would have thought that one of the richest populations in the world would be Norway? Per capita, the GDP is a staggering $100,000, not far shy of twice what America's is. The society is very feminist, with 56% of the elected politicians being female. Marie Claire ranks Norwegian husbands as being especially attractive. Additionally, with a 40% divorce rate, not particularly high relatively, the Norwegian government went to the trouble of releasing messages to the public, supporting ongoing date nights to try to improve marriages, 
was which was thoughtful. But it has an enormous problem in that it does not criminalize sexual assault within marriage. A 2004 study estimates that one in every six Norwegian women was a victim of domestic violence. By 2011, the rates of reported violence increased more than 500% since 2005, indicating how much the 2004 figure might have been underestimated. Coming from a background where that sort of belief is socially permissible can be very problematic, if not hazardous. Number 3. United States of America Since the new millennium began, America has done much to alienate itself from the rest of the world, and as such is no longer the superpower that it used to be. Still, the American male population has a huge amount to recommend it. $50,000 GDP per capita may not sound quite so huge as it once did, but it's a country with one of the lowest domestic violence rates in the world. Business Insider ranks the country as only the 22nd's least sexiest in the world. But even polls like that conducted by The Telegraph report that Americans are the most attractive people in the world. Probably the biggest mark against America as far as bachelor eligibility goes is that the divorce rate is the 10th highest in the world, at 53%. Number 2. Switzerland Switzerland ranks as the 10th least sexiest country on earth. Its domestic abuse rates are a relatively small 20%, which is well below the global average, even by the standards of the developed world. For comparison, it's less than half of France's. The country's male population is heavily praised by the World Countries Awards, which in 2015 said the country had both the nicest population and the most handsome men in the world. And at a GDP of $84,000 per capita, there's a lot of wealth to go around. Its 41.19% divorce rate is well below that of a number of other developed nations too. And in a number one, it's Iceland. Iceland is sometimes rated as one of the most feminist, if not the most feminist nation in the world. As indicated by WeWomen.com, it's a nation whose political structure is much more female than the average developed nation. Notably, in 2010, legislation was passed which received majority approval to ban pornography online on the grounds that it degraded women and men too. Any population that is willing to make a sacrifice like that for the sake of its female population is full of husband material, no matter how you look at it. Since also so per capita they're extremely strong, happy, and healthy, the discerning bride-to-be probably has no worries on the physical front too. The estimated rate of domestic violence is 30%, which is fairly low compared to many developed countries. The average income is only about $47,000, but that's only slightly less than America, so it's a minor offense in the grander scheme of things. If you're really conservative, maybe the fact that Iceland has an extremely high divorce rate would be a problem. However, reportedly, Iceland has a rather casual attitude towards divorce. Too. Really, if a marriage has to fail, isn't it better for it to fail casually? So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and I'd love to know what you think of it, so please leave a comment below. I'm also going to link over to another video that you might enjoy, so just click on that thumbnail on the screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we put out a new video seven days a week, and you can also visit us online. Just go to top10s.net. Thanks for watching.